Well, now to the former president. Donald Trump has now posted the $175 million bond in his civil fraud case, allowing him to proceed with his appeal. Meanwhile, a gag order in one of Trump's other cases has now been expanded. Let's get right to good days. Robert Moses, he joins us now with the latest on the former president's legal battles. Robert, good morning. Tashani, good morning to you. It is presidential primary day here in New York and Connecticut. Polls are open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. in New York and from 6 to 8 in Connecticut. While the nominees have been decided, the outcomes of former President Donald Trump's legal travails are still very much up in the air. This morning, there are developments on two legal fronts. Former President Donald Trump posted a $175 million bond in his civil fraud case, staving off potential financial ruin for now and preventing Attorney General Letitia James from pursuing his bank accounts and properties during his appeal. Knight Specialty Insurance Company, based in California, supplied the bond. Last week, an appeals court granted the former president's request to reduce the bond amount after his lawyers complained that posting a bond for the full judgment of $450 four plus million dollars was a quote practical impossibility the former president has been engaging in legal whack-a-mole while avoiding disaster at least for now in the fraud case his hush money trial begins in lower manhattan in 13 days the judge in that case juan mershon yesterday extended a gag order to include his own family members and family members of district attorney alvin bragg Last week, former President Trump falsely accused the judge's daughter, Lauren, of posting a picture of him behind bars on X. But a court spokesman said she had abandoned that account nearly a year ago. In his order yesterday, Mershon wrote, This pattern of attacking family members of presiding jurists and attorneys assigned to his cases serves no legitimate purpose. It merely injects fear in those assigned or called to participate in the proceedings that not only they, but their family members as well, are fair game for defendants' vitriol. On Wall Street, shares of the former president's social media company, Trump Media and Technology Group, fell by more than 20 percent. That means that the value of the former president's majority stake plunged from more than $6 billion last week to about $3.7 billion. The former president is staring at four criminal indictments in four different cities. The first trial is that hush money case here in New York starting on April 15th. And that may be the only case that goes to trial before the election. Tishani. All right, Robert, thank you.